there is nothing impossible with God. All the impossibility is with us when we measure God by the limitations of our unbelief. Some people read their Bibles in Hebrew, some in Greek. I like to read mine in the Holy Ghost. You must every day make higher ground. You must deny yourself to make progress with God. You must refuse everything that is not pure and holy. God wants you pure in heart. He wants you to have an intense desire after holiness. Two things will get you to leap out of yourselves into the promises of God today. One is purity and the other is faith, which is kindled more and more by purity. The devil knows if he can capture your thought life, he has won a mighty victory over you. Desire God and you will have desires from God. To hunger and thirst after righteousness is when nothing in the world can fascinate us so much as being near God. Without faith, you have nothing. You cannot be saved without it. You cannot be healed without it. We must see the face of the Lord. There are things that God says to me that I know must take place. It doesn't matter what people say. I have been face to face with some of the most trying moments of men's lives when it meant so much to me. If I kept the vision and if I held fast to that which God had said, a man must be in an immovable condition. The voice of God must mean to him more than what he sees, feels, or what people say. God's word never fails. He will always heal you if you dare to believe him. Men are searching everywhere today for things with which they can heal themselves and they ignore the fact that the bomb of Gilead is within easy reach. I find nothing in the Bible but holiness and nothing in the world but worldliness. Therefore, if I live in the world, I will become worldly. On the other hand, if I live in the Bible, I will become holy. God dwells in you but you cannot have this divine power until you live and walk in the Holy Ghost until the power of the new life is greater than the old life. There was never one who came into the world with such loving compassion and who entered into all the needs of the people as did the Lord Jesus. And he declares to us, Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me, the works that I do, shall he do also, and greater works than these shall he do, because I go unto my Father. God wants us all to have an audacity of faith that dares to believe for all that is set forth in the Word. This is the word of wisdom of Smith Wigglesworth, the Apostle of Faith, was a British evangelist who was influential in the early history of Pentecostalism. He performed many such great miracles that are hard to believe, yet some people believe to be true. Thank you for watching.